Hey everyone, welcome back to the workshop. So now I'm starting to work on doing the interior door panels. Uh, they were in pretty rough shape. I'll show you in a minute. Um, so I've been working on the driver's side and I got myself some new um, pressed fiberboard or whatever this stuff is called. Uh, it's what they used on the, the older cars back in the day is the kind of the base for the some of the interior fabric. And uh, I got some Landau foam, which is like a a thin, dense foam that gives it a, gives it a little spring. Uh, so I'm cutting that to size. I'm cutting out, as you can see, I've got my my holes all marked, the window switch hole, things like that. This is for the back seat. That foam is going to be uh, glued onto here with uh, contact cement. There's the driver's side panel, the new one that I, I'm starting to make. Uh, cut out, got its foam ready. Got the trim off. I'm going to clean the trim up. Got these trim plates off. Uh, they're just held on with these, these tabs that go in. You can see those. Yeah, they are. They just bend up. They pop through the holes. You bend them down. Pretty straightforward. I can probably put all this back together myself, no problem. The trim is in good shape. Keeping all my parts together. The tricky part, so this piece here... This metal piece, this is uh, what goes over the top of the door right next to the window. Uh, this is where the lock popper comes through, you know, that that part. And uh, the original at the factory, these holes were like punched through into the cardboard, almost like a staple where the, the spikes came through into the cardboard and bent inward. So it kind of gripped the cardboard. It was on there really hard. Uh, so I straighten them all out. I think I'm going to use maybe some short screws with T-nuts or something, but it's got to attach through all these little holes here. That's, that's, the, that's where they line up. And I tested it with a screw. It seemed to work. Um, I'm going to figure it out a little more. Um, here's the original fabric. You can see, I mean, it's a convertible and the seals are old, so that means water gets in. It's very mildewy, it's cracking and dried out. Um, so I'm gonna get some new fabric, probably similar color. Uh, let me show you the panel I'm working on, hold on. Okay, so this is the passenger's panel that I took off. This is the original cardboard. Um, it, it still feels damp, it's crazy. I mean, the car's been in the garage, out of the rain for almost two years. Um, I started prying these up to get the trim off. Here's that metal piece, right? Where it where it's like stapled into the, into the cardboard. It's starting to peel away here. It's because it's so old and uh, wet. You can see down at the bottom. Look at that. It's just that's where all the water would just probably run down and soak up and sit. Just deteriorated it. That's the driver's side piece. Same thing down at the bottom. Taking the door panel off is not too hard. I'll show you what that was about. Okay, so here's the passenger door panel. Get access to the window tracks, which desperately need to be oiled because the windows are very slow. Hopefully the motors are okay. I think they're fine. Um, so basically, it's real easy. You can probably figure it out. You don't need to tell you. But uh, the door handle goes on like that. Two screws on the bottom in these slots. Just back them out, that'll come off. And then you got your, your door handle. There's a screw on there, just back the screw out, pull this thing off, I put the screw back in so I don't lose it. And then the trickiest one is the window vent. And it's not even that hard. Again, it slips on a spline shaft, but it's got a clip. And uh, you gotta orient the clip so the hoop is facing up. It's kind of like a spring clip. You can see the little tabs go in there. They engage with this groove to hold the, hold it on. It's pretty simple. Um, and then I just reached in there with a little hook tool and you just pull it out, yank it off. And then I obviously I put the clip back in there so I don't lose it. It'll probably be a little tricky getting it on because you got to do it. You got to like squeeze it in between the door panel when the door panel's on and like the little trim piece, but I just get a small pair of pliers and just pop it down there. So, all right, back to the bench. 
So I watched a couple of videos um, of some other guys that were redoing their door panels. It doesn't look too bad. Uh, one tricky thing here is you can see there's those prongs that hold the, um, the fabric down. They look like this one, once it's off. Um, and the nails, these nails are what go into the door. There's a plastic cup that these get driven into. This is pretty rusty. I don't know if I'm going to be able to reuse it. I don't even know if I need it. Found a company that sells uh, just a section of this that has the nail uh, for going into the door clips. I don't think I need the nailer strips or whatever these things are called because I think I can just um, uh, glue it down with contact cement. That's what the other guy did. And can probably get some short staples just to tack it in to hold it extra good. Um, here's the Landau foam. I got a roll of it. You know, it's just, it's not very thick, but it's dense. It has like a nice spring to it. That's what he was using. Um, you glue that down, glue the fabric to this. I plan on getting some nice uh, marine grade vinyl to replace this. Um, yeah, you can see that the carpet piece on the bottom is shot. Same thing as the driver's side. It's all moldy. I tried scrubbing it. It doesn't come off and it doesn't matter. I mean, this is all rotting. The door panel's not, is like hanging from the top by a few nails. So got to do it and it'll really freshen the interior. I know it'll make a huge difference. So more to come on this. I'll share when I'm done. Take care.